Welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, I love kebabs. I don't do them enough, but today we are going to be doing some pork kebabs over charcoal. But this video is actually starting the night before because when you're marinating something, you really gotta let it soak in there and let that marinade do its thing for that meat to tenderize it a bit and get all that flavor in there, which is why you're doing that. And today, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know this is the pork collar butt or the capicola piece. I had this in the freezer. It's all thawing out and we're gonna prep that. But first, we're actually gonna make the marinade for this and then get to it. So hang on. Just to break it down, we're gonna do all the dry ingredients first, put them in here, and then we're gonna do all the wet ingredients and then combine everything. I just find it's gonna be easier for me to show you this way. We're gonna start with some thyme. And I really don't have a recipe for this. These are flavors that I like and I think are really going to complement. I love ancho chili, so we're gonna throw a little bit of this in too. Some paprika. I've got some ground ginger where we're gonna, just a touch. It's pretty strong, so. I love white pepper and we're gonna use some nice fine white pepper. I've got a little bit of dried mint we're gonna add too. And last but not least, we're gonna add some uh, sea salt. You gotta add some salt in there too. And here we go with the, I'm gonna call wet ingredients. I've got some liquid, but we've got garlic, we've got onion, lemon, and apple. We're gonna clean these all up, and then we're gonna take them, blitz them in the little food processor to make that a nice paste, I guess, and then combine everything together. I never said this thing was big, but we're gonna have to do it in a couple. Okay, so we got this nice uh, puree now. Beautiful, and get that in there. Do this. I wasn't gonna add it now, but I need a little bit more liquid. And I've got this beautiful avocado oil that we're gonna use. I'm gonna say about a half a cup or something. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Got this part done. I am gonna add a little bit more oil. So there's something else that uh, goes well with the uh, apples, it's rum. So I've got this nice black spiced rum, the Kraken, it's actually pretty good. I don't know, I'm gonna add it like two or three shots. You don't want it overpowering. Uh, that's like two generous shots, there we go. Get that in there. Mm. Smells so good. We're gonna take all those uh, dry ingredients, get them in here as well. And just uh, combine it together. Beautiful. I am. You should taste, you should get used to tasting things as you're cooking. Uh, because you can always fine tune it now. A little bit more. It's missing one more thing. Hang on. I think it needs just a touch more sweetness. The apples, they're a royal gala. They're not overly sweet, but I have some maple sugar here, which is basically just like dehydrated maple syrup. I could actually use maple syrup, but I've got this handy and... Mm. 
That's good. We're back with the star of the show. Now it really doesn't matter what the pieces look like, but what you want to do is make sure that they're all fairly even in thickness so that when you're doing them over the charcoal, you don't have to worry about something being too thick and not being done and that one's going to be overdone. So take your time, try and get them all the same thickness or the best you can. So I'm going to go about like that. Plus you don't want to go too thick because you want the meat when it's in the marinade to try and get it absorbed the best you can. So basically I'm just going to cut this in half and then just nice cubes. If the cubes are bigger this way, that's okay. They're all the same thickness, so that's what's important. So just like that, one at a time. There's a blood spot, I don't like that. I'm gonna just take that out. And you can see this, this is a great piece. It's got lots of marbling that will help keep the lots of juice in the meat when you're cooking. A lot of it will cook out anyways when you're cooking it, so that's okay. Fat adds flavor. Here we go. Everything into the bowl. So now we're just going to carefully mix it up because we want that marinade over all the sides, every piece. That looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. I can't wait till tomorrow. So all we're going to do now is wrap this with saran wrap, throw it in the fridge, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Welcome back everybody. We are outside. It's the next day afternoon and everybody's getting hungry and I'm going to light the fire. I like to light a fire and let that charcoal get hot this way. It works for me. It takes about a half an hour, 40 minutes till everything gets to where we need it. So let's light it now. So what I'm going to do now is just keep this fire going a little bit, get it nice and hot, get those charcoals going, and then just let it die out, and then let it do its thing. Yeah, now excuse the lawnmowers and stuff, but it's almost done, looks great, it's getting all white, which is what you want. And uh, we're going to get the pork out here and put it onto the skewers. You guys ready? This looks great. Oh, smells so good. Put that there for now. And I've got these uh, big stainless steel skewers. And all we're gonna do is put them on like that. That way we can rest it right over. Sometimes it's just figuring out which way to put them on. And like I said yesterday, this is why you want to try and do them all the same thickness. That way when they're on there, you know they're going to cook evenly. And you don't have to worry. Okay, one more. And I'm just going to continue. There we go, we've got five beautiful skewers out of that one piece, which is fantastic. Now, all we're gonna do is spread you guys out, which is actually very hot, so just be careful. So now all we're gonna do, take them and do this.
there we go. I love cooking over charcoal. It's so primal. It's so awesome. It gives you such a great flavor that everything gets charred. <clears throat> Can't wait. I'm so excited to try these. And there's really, there's no way to regulate the temperature. The only thing you can do is actually put the product closer or farther away. That's the only way to do it. Uh, and in this, since this is a certain height, all you can do is raise up the coals or flatten them out a bit. It is what it is, but you make do and you just make it work. Whew, looking good. Take a flip. And uh, a little bit of color on them. So I'm going to spread you guys around a bit. And you have to remember there is fat in the this piece. So that will uh, melt out and flare up. So you have to be uh, aware of that. Don't walk away. They're almost done. Uh, I had to flatten out the charcoal a bit. Just to... So it's not as hot. They got some nice char on them. They're not burnt, but just they look awesome. They're done. One thing I want to say is remember we did put some sugar in there and that will burn if you're not careful. So just be aware of that whenever you're using sugar in marinades. So I'm gonna just take one off. Let's uh mm. damn that's good. Mm. Fully cooked, which is what you want. Still juicy. It's got a great flavor. Personally, I would have made it a little spicier. But there again, you want to make things for the 80% that will like it instead of like the 20%. Because you could always make things hotter. Great taste. I really advise to marinate things overnight if you can because it just helps. Get a little hint of the apple. The other spices, nothing's overpowering. They just work well together. Love it. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. Uh, remember to leave me some comments and hit that like. And uh, go and try this. You got to do it. I love cooking over charcoal. It's summertime now. I will be doing more just because why not? Cook outside. It's fun. And you keep the mess outside. Guys, thanks for watching and uh, happy eating.